Today, we'll be discussing the benefits of using swirl brakes to improve stability in pumps. To illustrate this, we will look at the case study of 11-stage barrel type pump that was experiencing subsynchronous vibration issues. The pump was spinning at 6,600 RPM, pumping 270 gallons per minute of hydrocarbon. The subsynchronous vibration, which occurs at 0.7x, was causing the shaft to rub against the internal seals. The problem was compounded as the fluid temperature increased. To solve this issue, engineers considered four possible solutions. One approach was to increase the stiffness of the shaft, but this could be difficult if the design was already set. Another solution was to improve the balance of the components, but this might not be enough to mitigate the destabilizing forces. Also, modifying the annular seal was considered as a way to reduce the destabilizing forces. In the end, the engineers decided to increase the shaft stiffness and modify the seals, but they also installed the swirl brakes between the impeller stages to make the pump more stable. Here is the implemented solution for swirl brake. This particular pump has 11 impellers. The seals were installed between the impellers to reduce leaks between stages. By modifying these seals, the pump was made more stable. As the pump spins, the fluid has large circumferential velocity. But the grooves in the swirl brakes act to sharply drop the circumferential velocity of the fluid entering the seal, thereby reducing the destabilizing forces. Let's now perform a rotor dynamic analysis to understand the impact of the swirl brakes. The first step is to model the pump geometry into a finite element model and account for hydraulic and mechanical imbalances. By running a baseline case with an original seal, we can compare the results with a model that include swirl brakes. From this rotor dynamic model, we can predict the rotor motion for each frequency mode. However, our focus is on the stability analysis table. From this table, we can find the negative log deck at the running speed of 5,800 RPM. This table indicates that the unstable mode at 74 Hz will be excited because it has a negative log deck. This means that the pump will experience vibration frequency at 77% of its running speed. As we saw earlier, the test data showed 0.7x subsynchronous vibration. And rotor dynamic analysis can predict this type of vibration. So let's run the same analysis with the swirl brakes. The analysis case number two with swirl brake shows a positive log deck unlike the baseline result case number one. If you run the rotor response plot, the rotor response at the bearing is small as expected. Of course, the rotor response away from the bearing shows large motions. Therefore, the rotor motions looks like this. Today's lesson is simple. The soil brake enhances rotor dynamic stability. All right, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next videos.